Hey everybody, this is David Schooley with the Big John MMA Fight Club. I'm talking to Mr. Big John McCarthy. How you doing, John? I'm very good, Dave. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, listen, we're talking about some Bellator matchups, and you know we got some is interesting ones on this card. This is March 21st, 2013, um, and this is Bellator 93. Uh, we've got a lightweight tournament finals that's coming down between. Dave Jensen and uh, Marcin Held. What do you think about uh, these two guys? How do you think they compare? You know, they, they matched up very well. They're both exactly the same type of fighter. Uh, both have just about the same kind of record. I think they both have two losses on their record. Yep. Held's two losses were you know, a while ago. Uh, same with Jensen. Uh, it's, uh, this is a, it's a toss-up fight. Yeah, Both yeah. of them, you know, swing for the fences. Jansen's got probably a little bit tighter ground game when he gets, you know, the fight down the ground. But Held's good there. He defends very well. Uh, man, I'll tell you what, I don't, I don't know how you pick uh, the winner in this one. Held is tough. Jansen's tough. They're just going to go in there. And, you know, that's, that's why you fight the fight because, you know, to sit there, if you kind of like Held, you're going to say, well, I think Held's going to win. You kind of like Jansen, I think Jansen's going to win. So, uh this is why you fight it. Yeah, and and you know what? This is what everybody loves, and and this is why you can be glad you're not having to uh, make those predictions. Yeah, I don't want to predict that one at all. I'll look bad fifty percent of the time. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, hey, listen. You know what? I want I want to hear your thoughts on a couple of these other uh, fights here, though. We've got we've got Lima and Saunders. That's that's looking like a good fight. Oh, dude, Douglas Lima is he is a stud. But Ben Saunders is the same thing. They're both, again, that body type that they have at 170 pounds. I mean, they're freaking lean, long, strong. Both of them have good hands. Both of them have a great ground game. These guys match up extremely well. Now, they fought in the past, and Lima ended up hurting Saunders and got rid of him in the fight. And Saunders has got something to come back and prove. You know, The, the thing is, they're both teammates kind of. They both actually fight out of an association of, of American Top Team. Uh, they, you know, they like each other, but they're going to go in there and, and definitely put the wood to each other in this fight. And you know, Saunders is a guy. He's mean. He's one of those mean guys when he fights. He wants to hurt you. Lima is a guy who is super talented. He's got the athletic ability to cause you problems in the fight to where you overextend or you do something that makes. You know, an opening for him, and he capitalizes on the opening and ends the fight. So, you know, they, it, it's a good matchup. We got already, you know, one time Douglas Lima has won the fight. Ben Saunders, he's going to want to come back and, and prove that he can uh, make that even, so they can have that trilogy. Yeah, yep, it's going to be great. That this whole card is going to be really interesting. Uh, I'm going to bring up a couple other fights that, you know, um, uh, Bellator is just pulling some interesting things out of the uh, out of the hat here. This is a heavyweight feature fight, uh, and, and we're talking Ryan Martinez, who's like an 8-2-0, right, against uh, Travis Buf, who's 68-15-0. Um, very, very, very interesting uh, matchup here, but these are two big guys who can both swing. So, I don't know, tell me what you think about these guys. This is crazy. You know I know, uh, you know Ryan Martinez is a guy, he's, he's done very well against good wrestlers. He's had fights. He had a fight in pro elite against uh, Mark Ellis. Mark Ellis being an NC2A wrestler from Missouri, fighting out of AKA. And, you know, Martinez went in there and basically handled him during the fight, caused him problems, never got really taken down by him. Uh, great sprawl, good quickness, you know, ended up hurting him when he would, you know, get in tight. He has proved that against wrestlers, he's a tough person to get to the ground. Uh, you look at Travis. Travis has got a world of experience. He's fought everywhere. I did Travis's last fight in Abu Dhabi, you know, and, and it's a, it's a shame because in that fight, you know, he he fought well. He actually uh, he won the fight. They didn't give him the fight. The judges went the other way, but I guarantee you, he won the fight. Wow! wow. And so I feel felt bad for him because he knew he won the fight. His opponent knew that he had won the fight. His opponent was shocked when I raised his hand. Yeah. So, you know, he's coming back from a loss that he probably shouldn't have had. Uh, back to Bellator, and it's a big fight for Travis. He's got a lot to, you know, a lot riding on this because he can get himself into that heavyweight championship fight. Uh, and, uh, that would be a good thing for him as far as, you know, he's coming towards the end no matter what. You, you know, you get into the point where you're having, you know, 90 fights, 
it's probably getting to the point where you're coming close to the end. And, uh, yeah, you want to prove something fast, right? You want to get that championship, you know. And and Travis, you know, he the one you know championship you could say he won the Yama tournament years ago when you know there was the one you know, one and done Yama. It was nice. Travis View that won that night. So nice. Uh, he he has the experience. He definitely has the experience in the fight, but he. He relies on his wrestling most of the time to get things done in the MMA cage, and he's going to have his hands full with Mr. Martinez because, man, the, the guy knows how to defend against wrestling. Wow, wow. Well, that's going to be an interesting one. They got another heavyweight on the card here, uh, another heavyweight feature. This one is Rogers and Prindle. Uh, again, you know, two really big dudes that uh, are going to bring it, bring it hard. These guys, I think, are going to stand and bang. What do you think? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, both of them big, strong guys. Big. Both of them six foot five. Yep. Both of them absolutely cutting weight to get to the two hundred sixty five pound limit. So by the time they get in the cage, they're somewhere in the two hundred eighty pound range. You know, Brett Rogers came out. You know, with his hair on fire. You know, the first ten fights of his career. You know, he won. He won impressively. Ended up getting a shot against Fedor. Was doing okay in that fight. I did that fight years ago in Chicago and. You know, Fedor ended up hitting him with a beautiful shot that, you know, put him down. It was the end of the fight. And he's had problems since then, you know. And sometimes it's very tough to deal with that loss and, and to look at it in the proper way and to realize, hey, you know what? My whole thing is just to always go out and do my very best. Well, to do that, to go out and do your very best, you have to do your very best in training beforehand. And I think at times Brett hasn't done that. To, you know, to the best of his ability, and I think he's getting that back now. I think he's getting himself into the gym. He's training hard, and uh, he's starting to put things back together the way he needs to. Against Prindle, you know, look at, you know, Prindle is a big, strong guy who, you know, he, he's had, he had a couple of losses early in his career, and now he's had, you know, a DQ from an axe kick where he hit the guy in the groin was his last one. Right, so right. he's got stuff to prove too. And look at a victory over Brett Rogers is going to look really good on his resume and get him to a point where you know he's starting to prove that he's a heavyweight to be de you know dealt with. He's a he's got the tools. He's strong. His ground game is not bad. He had a problem. You know, he fought against Cole Conrad when Conrad was a champion, and he got converted in that fight. Right, and you know, right. that can happen. You got a guy that's that good at wrestling as Cole Conrad was. It's hard to get out from underneath a big guy like that when uh, he is that good. But Prindle is a guy that, you know, he's just got a couple fights to prove, you know, exactly how good he is. And this is his first step in that direction. Yep. Well, it's going to prove to be a really interesting night. I mean, we've got a, a couple of really awesome matchups. We got, you know, the two different uh, heavyweight matchups. Um, again, this is, this is uh, Bellator 93. March 21st, it's going to be a fun one to watch, and now they're on TV every time, so this is a good thing. So, John, thank you for your comments. For all of you fans out there, lock in your predictions. Let's see what you guys think, and let's see how it turns out. Thanks a lot, John. Good luck.